So there are reviewers who said that those EMs should probably cost more. I probably won't agree with that, but I do think that they are a very sweet deal for the price we are paying. Today's review will focus on the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Lit, an EM sold and fulfilled by Lin Soul, priced at 249 US dollars. So it is a mid-ranger. Starting with the configuration, we have six balanced armature drivers. We have two drivers for the base, four for the mid-range and two for the treble. You can actually tell that this is how they configured it and I'll explain that in a second. First off, we start with the build quality. This is a cable mostly. Most EMs are mostly the cable. They are very rarely mostly the EM because the EMs are very tiny compared to the cable, which is quite long. The cable of the Orchestra Lit is good, pretty well made, not very springy, doesn't tangle doesn't have any kind of problem, doesn't conduct microphonic noise, but it has a single-ended 3.5mm connector. Basically, you will need another cable if you want to use them with a balanced source. I have not seen options to purchase them with a balanced cable on the Linsoul website right now. Those are the EMs. They look really beautiful and I really enjoy this color. This is a very beautiful deep blue color. You can actually see the sonic tubes and the balanced armature drivers, which is nice. You can see everything inside of them. They are made of what people typically call resin. I typically used to call it plastic, but it is a very good material. And importantly, it sits very nicely in your ear. So the comfort with the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Lit is super. It is one of the most comfortable EMs that I have ever had in my entire life. It is super comfortable super nice in comfort. They have detachable cables based on the two pin connector. They have a selection of tips included in the package, but they have no grill that would protect them from debris and other dirt going inside of the EMs. So basically you have to clean them quite often so that the sonic tubes don't get clogged. I think that the EMs are really nice in design and in overall comfort. They isolate you quite well from the outside noise with between 20 and 25 decibels of passive noise isolation and they give you a really good sound in general. I will explain most about the sound because the sound is interesting on those. And I do agree that they are priced quite competitively for the sound they provide. Now they don't really leak at all, so most people won't hear what you're listening to and they can be taken quite loud, but they need <clears throat> almost half of the maximum volume on the Hebe R6 Mark III to sound loud. So they will eat quite a bit of power to get loud. You probably wouldn't even be able to tell this from the specifications because they have a very high sensitivity at 112 decibels and they have a very low impedance of 60 ohms. You can actually hear a bit that they have a low impedance because at times I could hear some background noise going on, especially some kind of hissing happening with the HBR6 Mark III, which is not a very hiss prone source. So if you have a source that has quite a bit of hiss, you will hear that with the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Lit. Now, the sound is exceptionally enjoyable. It's like they really put everything into the mid-range to give you the most enjoyable mid-range, but they also have a W kind of sound. So the bass is uplifted, then there is a bit of depression in the lower mids and the upper bass, then the mid-range is once again uplifted, then the upper mid-range isn't very hot, so it is not very metallic or sharp, then the treble is once again uplifted and you have quite a bit of energy, of air, of sparkle and the symbols, and generally every single hi-hat and symbol is really really sparkly and shiny. This makes for a very engaging presentation that sounds exceptionally good with rock, with metal, with deathcore, with EDM, electronic dubstep. Most music sounds really enjoyable out of the Kiviers Orchestra Lit. On the other hand, as I was saying, you can hear that they dedicated less drivers to the bass and to the treble. And this is one of the first EMs when I noticed this effect, but I am more on the lookout right now because I want to give you even better reviews. The bass of the Kiviers Orchestra Lit is a bit grainy. The mid-range is very smooth, very grain-free. You can hear that a lot of effort went into designing the mid-range to make it sound as clean, smooth, and just engaging as possible. Then the treble also has a bit of grain. So those drivers being four for the mid-range, you can hear that the mid-range is smoother, more refined, and more detailed in general, while less effort has gone into the bass, which is a bit grainy, is a bit textured, but not in the good way. You can actually hear the fact that the bass is struggling, especially with very bass heavy songs you will hear that the bass has boop, boop, has some kind of boop sound. I don't know how better to explain it. I don't think that I lack the vocabulary, rather it is something that I have to exemplify. And this is how I <laughs> 
came to this conclusion. On the other hand, the treble also has a bit of this effect. So when you reach the upper treble, you can hear that every single sound has like a bit of dust on it, like a bit of sand. It is a bit grainy. And this is something that I've been beginning to notice lately that when a company designs a high end flagship PM, they typically make it very smooth and very grain free. And now with something in the range, they made those very detailed. And I am willing to say that they are as detailed as you typically find detail in about 500, 600 US dollars price range. They are really detailed, like incredibly detailed, incredibly clean, crisp, very, very good with the punchiness and the dynamics. They're just enjoyable. I really like them. But yeah, that is something you'll have to live with. The slight amount of grain. Those have been provided to me and to us as the world by Lin Soul and their superb overall shop. Lin Soul has a ton of VMs in their shop a ton of stuff in their store and I typically believe that there is no conflict of interest in me recommending them as a store because they carry most of the stuff that I've been reviewing like <laughs> pretty much half of what I've reviewed is available at Linsoul. It is also available on Amazon which I think is like a second layer of protection because with Linsoul it is very easy to get your problems fixed but returning something may be a bit complicated. With Amazon it is very easy and very fast and with me right now pondering the idea of upgrading my camera to a Canon R6 I'm a bit afraid of where I'm going to purchase that from because yeah it is like a panic decision I want to bring my videos in 4k 60 frames per second but I'm not sure how I'll do it because it is very pricey the Canon R6 is a really pricey camera I'll probably have to change the lenses too which is once again a cost but I really am committed to bringing you better quality for the videos better content and just to give you a better time at audiophile heaven. I really hope that my videos are enjoyable and I'm really, really hoping that you're having a good time here. My content is just me talking about sound and about what I found to sound good and what I didn't find to sound quite so good. The Kiviers Orchestra Lead gets a full thumbs up from me. I really liked the sound, I really enjoyed the overall presentation and I really find them to be very detailed. I'll be having a full written review with more in-depth impressions and honestly at about 250 US dollars that is not quite that much competition that could really stand up to it. There is the 7 Hz Eternal. The Eternal is a much thicker, much heavier sounding EM with much more bass, much more substance and a much meatier sound but at the cost of that sound having much less treble and being less detailed. So you can hear that the Kiviers Orchestra Lit is considerably more detailed than the 7 Hz Eternal and the same company Lee Soul sent both so <laughs> you know there is no conflict of interest the same shop sells both. If you are looking for a really thick and bass heavy EM then the 7 Hz Eternal but it is not as detailed as the Kiviers Orchestra Lit. The Orchestra Lit is also a bit more detailed than the 7 Hz Timeless and I think that it is a full upgrade over the Timeless. The Timeless follows a very similar kind of sound with maybe slightly a bit more SS in the mid-range, but the whole presentation is very similar. So I think that the Kiviers Orchestra Lit has a better overall resolution, better detail, better dynamics, and it is generally more pleasing than the 7 Hertz Timeless. But at the same time, I do think that the Timeless doesn't have quite that much grain in the bass and in the treble, it is smoother overall. So if you think that you are sensitive to grainy sound or to having a sound with a bit too much texture, then I think that 7 Hz Timeless is still a very good option. On the other hand, the Kiviers Orchestra Lit is just like one of my favorite EMs around the price point. To be honest, there is not a lot that you can purchase around the 250 US dollars price point like it's, it's it really there is not a lot of action around this price point and I'm happy to see that Lin Soul is helping bring those to you like I'm really happy to see something cheaper being affordable and being available to you like you can enjoy something a bit cheaper and that makes me happy because you can have more fun with this hobby don't forget being an audiophile being a music lover enjoying this kind of hobby is all about fun and all about loving and all about sharing the fun with others try to not have too strong of an impression over anything because it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter if you believe in ducks or not in cables or not and such Try to not break other people's fun and try to have fun yourself. Like if you feel that all ducks sound the same, I really want to emphasize this because especially on Reddit people are really judgmental about this kind of stuff. Just enjoy what you have and enjoy what you feel that sounds best. If you feel that a duck won't upgrade your sound, then don't get a duck. Get better speakers, get better EMs, get what you feel improves your sound. I'll be trying to review everything as I hear it 
because I can't review it from other years. I have just those two years. So I will be trying to using my average years to give you an impression of what I think most people and the average user will hear when purchasing something. On today's video, the Kiviers Orchestra Lit should be fun for most users. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time at Audio File Heaven and I hope you'll be checking out my other videos. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you want to help me out and I would really appreciate that. I do have a PayPal link in the video description if you want to help and I hope we'll see each other really soon. Bye-bye.